Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And today, guys, we are looking at another Southern Tier beer out of New York. This is part of their Blackwater series. This is their chocolate. It's an Imperial Stout, 11% alcohol by volume. It's brewed with Belgian bittersweet chocolate. And you guys know this series well. It's got their mocha, it's got their java, it's got their creme brulee. So all those big, flavorful Imperial Stouts. Well, this is their chocolate one. So this is out now just came out the new batch of this so if you can get it pick it up but with that said let me get into a glass that you guys know it smells tastes and give you the verdict on southern tears chocolate all right guys so the appearance on the chocolate it's your typical imperial style. I feel like I describe the same thing every time, but it's really, really dark motor oil black. Um, I'm not getting any, any red on the corners. It's just completely, completely opaque. No light getting through. There was a really, really nice, about a half finger to a finger of a khaki kind of espresso colored head on there, dissipating pretty quickly. Nice tight white bubbles um, in the middle, surrounding the edges, lots of carbonation coming off between the beer and the head itself. Definitely some alcohol legs on there, nice lacing. Yeah, it's just a really nice looking Imperial Stout. All right, the aroma on the chocolate. Wow, that is crazy. It smells like alcoholic chocolate milk. I'm getting milk chocolate, bittersweet chocolate, dark chocolate. There's some espresso bean flavors coming through. Slight roasted note. I'm getting a slight kind of molasses or like pancake syrup type of sweetness. A little bit of graininess, touch of alcohol. A little bit of like a dark fruit in there, but wow, the chocolate is crazy on this thing. I've never smelled anything quite like it. All right, guys, so the taste on the chocolate. Cheers. Not quite as aggressive in chocolate as the aroma, but right at the front of the tongue, you're getting that classic imperial style bittersweet um, pop, you know, that dark chocolate bitterness, that coffee bitterness, espresso bean bitterness. Middle of the mouth, this thing just explodes though. Massive amounts of vanilla. I'm getting a vanilla bean or a vanilla extract type of flavor in there. Tons of milk chocolate, dark chocolate, espresso beans, just coating the mouth and kind of swirling around, blending with the vanilla character in it. There's a nice, Nice carbonation, my mouth is watering. <laughs> nice carbonation to help move the flavors along. There's a, a sweet finish on this one, big time sweet finish. Again, I'm getting a, like a syrupy sweetness in the aftertaste. I'm getting more milk chocolate, dark chocolates. Definitely a touch of coffee in there as well. Um, there, you do taste the alcohol in this, 11%, but it's not real fusely. It does, it's, not, it's not that burning type of alcohol, but it's definitely there, but it does help to kind of cleanse the palate a little bit, which you kind of need in a beer like this. But do feel the warming, definitely a sipping beer, but wow, it's a very, very well-brewed, interesting beer. It's, it's pretty awesome stuff, actually. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Southern Tier Chocolate Imperial Stout, 11% alcohol by volume, available now, so get it if you can, guys. Gonna give this one an A minus. For me, this is actually one of the better beers in this Blackwater series. Sometimes I think they kind of go overboard on those, you know, with the creme brulee. I think it's a bit too sweet for me. This one is way out there and it's way sweet. It is chocolatey, but there's such a balance between the sweetness and the chocolate and like kind of the underlying coffee roastedness of the, the really, really solid Imperial Stout base in this. 11%, it's a sipping beer. You're not gonna be able to drink a lot of this, you know, eight to 12 ounces is probably gonna be the limit for most people and that's fine. Share this with somebody. I think it's one of those beers that if someone's ever had an Imperial Stout where they don't quote like dark beers, this might be the beer to change their mind. But problem is they're not going to get another beer quite like this. So guys, Southern Tears Chocolate, you know, it's extreme. It's out there. It's really sweet. But I think you guys should check it out. It's nothing like anything else on the market. So with that said, guys, getting an A minus from me. And remember, folks, life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.